in case of recessive epistasis it is the recessive allele in homozygous condition that masks the effect of dominant allele so the example is coat color in mice so to understand this concept let's again draw a homologous chromosome so it's a homologous chromosome where we have two locus locus 1 and locus 2 in locus 1 we have two genes capital a and small a in locus 2 we have another two genes capital c and a small c capital a codes for coat color agouti agouti is actually gray in color and it is wild type so it is wild type now capital C codes for colored uh, coat color and a small c codes for albino that is white coat color and a small a codes for black here it is important to mention that capital A is hypostatic to homozygous recessive C. So in this case capital A is hypostatic static gene and small c is epistatic Since it is a recessive, so it has to be homozygous recessive condition. So, for example, if we take capital A, capital A, and small c, small c, so here capital A is hypostatic and small c, small c, it is epistatic. So, the color of the coat will be albino. Okay, so this is one condition. If we take uh, capital A, capital A, capital C, capital C, here both are dominant genes. But since A is a wild type, so it will express. So here it will be a gotti. If we take uh, capital C, capital C, small a small a so here capital C will express so it will be colored okay after that we will take uh, two parent one is colored and the other is albino and we will see the cross so We take a parent uh, capital C capital C small a small a so the coat color would be colored it is crossed with a parent having a small c small c capital A capital A so it will be albino albino is generally white in color So these are two parents. When we form gamete, so from here we get uh, capital C small a, and from here we get a small c capital A. These two will fuse, and we get F1 generation. That is capital C small c capital A small a. This is F1 generation. Here again, since capital A is present, so it will be a gotti. 
And since capital uh, small c is present only in uh, you know hemijagas condition, it will not express. It will express only when it is present in homojagas recessive condition. So f1 is a gotti, and if selfing is done in f1, then we will see what would be the ratio of f2 generation. So again, we write here f1 as capital C small c capital A small a. So again you use the formula 2 to the power n. So 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4 since we have two heterogeneous condition. So four types of gametes will be formed. So what are these gametes? The first gamete would be capital C capital A then capital C small a then small c capital A and small c small a. Here again, capital C, capital A, capital C, small a, small c, capital A, and small c, small a. Now we will have 16 types of zygote after fusion. And from that we can uh, deduce the F2 generation ratio. So the first would be capital C, capital C, capital A, capital A, capital C, capital C, capital A, small a, capital C, small c, capital A, capital A, capital C, small c, capital A, small a. Then capital C, capital C, capital A, small a. Capital C, capital C, small a, small a, small c, small c, capital A, small a, and it's capital C, small c, small a, small a. Here again, capital C, small c, capital A, capital A, capital C, small c, capital A, small a. Small c, small c, capital A, capital A. Small c, small c, capital A, small a. Then again, capital C, small c, capital A, small a. Capital C, small c, small a, small a. Small c, small c, capital A, small a. And small c, small c, small a, small a. So these are the four, 16 combinations. Out of 16 combinations, these are gametes. So these are the 16 combinations out of these. So when capital C and capital A are present, it will be a T and we denote it as capital A. Here again, it will be a T. Wherever capital A is present with capital C, it has to be Agarty. So again Agarty. Again Agarty. Here again Agarty. This one will be colored. This one is again Agarty. This is colored. This is again Agarty. This is again Agarty. This has to be a uh, Albino AL. This has to be AL albino. This one is agarty. This one is colored. This one is albino. And this one is again albino. So in F2 generation. How many are agarty? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Agarty is 9. 9 is agarty. 
then colored is 1 2 and 3 3 is colored and 4 is albino so in f2 generation we get 9 to 3 to 4 generation i mean ratio phenotypic ratio so this is all about recessive epistasis in which the homozygous recessive allele masks the effect of a dominant allele okay so after that we will discuss some questions so that the concept will become more clear to you okay so let's uh, start with some questions <coughs> 